Let me introduce myself before I tell you about my day. I am sick, twisted, demented. Normal people feel pity, sympathy, remorse. I don't. I can't think that way anymore. It doesn't make sense. There's no need for emotions like that. They just get in the way. I am an entertainer at birthday parties for children. I've been doing this for six years and I have hated every last one of them. It's a job I'm good at, but I sincerely despise it. I have never liked children. They're little monsters I can't get away from. Something about them is just... wrong. If only I could make them all go away. Well. I kind of did, at least a handful of them. Allow me to state a truth, that every person has a breaking point. We can only endure so much anxiety before something must be done to fight it. Well, it seems after six years I finally reached that point. I show up at a new client's home for her son's party. It was typical. Too many kids. Hardly anyone watching them. Loads of snacks and games. Some over-the-top birthday cake. Normally I can control the resentment I feel towards all these little pests. But today is different. I feel an immense hatred building up inside me as I watch them play and hear their squeaky voices. An overwhelming, uncomfortable sensation sweeps over me, and I begin to feel lightheaded and dizzy. The sounds of their voices disappear as an intense ringing fills my ears. I feel my skin crawl and tingle, the hair is standing straight up. The kids, they tug at my hands as I feel my face become flushed. I'm too disoriented to resist their much smaller hands. They take me into a room with two rows of chairs in the center. Some of the kids tug at my hands again, pointing at a radio sitting on a nearby table. The ringing gradually starts to weaken, and I can hear their voices returning to me. I start to feel alright again, and realize they want to play musical chairs. As my senses return, I feel something very unfamiliar wash over me. I almost feel like a completely different person. When most people experience a severe mental breakdown, they are wild, enraged, loud and uncontrollable. This was not the case. I felt calm, almost happy. My mind was hatching a plan. I closed the door, the children far too excited and loud to hear the lock shift into the wall. I tell them to start playing as I put on a big friendly smile and switch the music on. I watch as they dance around the chairs. Seeing how happy they look, their giggling filling the air. I keep a small handgun on me at all times when I leave my home. You can never be too careful. As I stop the music with my left hand, I pull the pistol out with my right. The kids are too busy laughing to pay attention to me. They never see it coming as I aim at the unfortunate boy who is left standing and pull the trigger. With a deafening bang, like a clap of thunder a foot from your ear, the child collapses. The others scream and start crying as I shout instructions so they can hear me. I tell them that only the winner of the game can leave. They must play if they want to win. I switch the music back on and aggressively encourage them to obey. I can see the horror in their little faces, all of them waiting for the music to stop. I switch it off more quickly than before. I surely don't have much time before someone breaks through that door, the one barrier keeping these children in here with me. The process continues, bodies gradually littering the floor until only one small girl is left. She begs and cries for me to let her go. I admit to her, 
almost with a hint of sympathy, that I lied. I raised the gun one last time and fire at her. Only a dry click pierces the air. It seems in the midst of the excitement, I miscounted my bullets. The chamber is empty. I can only laugh almost hysterically as I drop the gun. I'm finally free from this nightmare of a job. No more kids. No more noise. I have won. It's like a dream come true.